Hey guys, welcome to a new series. Uh, today, this will be my first video and my first series on this channel. And it's going to be playing a new mod pack that's come out literally a day ago. Uh, and it's the, what I would like to call the new and improved version of a really popular mod pack called Stoneblock. This is obviously Stoneblock 2, which you've probably heard about on a few other channels. Um, in my eyes, it's much better, I think. It's a new quest mod, a uh, new questing mod. Um, just new changes. It's still the same. Start off in like a little stone block. Um, so, but everything else is the same. You punch stone with your hands, you get uh, stone pebbles, and then make cobblestone out of that, which makes the stone crafting bench, which I can just plop down there. Uh, but this is the new quest book, so if you remember the old questing was uh, better questing, the mod. Um, and it was a little bit all over the place, there was like everything everywhere. You didn't really know what you were doing. Um, still about the same, except this one, um, the mod pack developer, Paul Stoneblock, uh, teamed up with uh, the Feed the Beast team to get out a new pack. They changed a couple mods around so now you've got like a fluid cows in it for instance. That was not in the original stone block I don't think. I didn't really play it enough to know. Um, there was a, uh, there was never a thorn craft happening in the old one either. There was extreme crafting you had was sort of mended in with the original. Um, but yeah as you can see here even uh, there's a new mod that changes the ender dragon and the Chaos Guardian, I think, to uh, the Ender, or like says the Ender Chicken and the ch uh, Chaos Chicken. I think I'm not 100% sure. This is my first time playing through, so I guess we'll find out later in the series. Um, okay, so where do we have to start? So we've got our quest. Oh, and actually another thing, you now get a random reward. So instead of those um, little, what were they called, loot boxes or loot crates. I don't know what you call them, I think they were like loot boxes I guess you could say. You can just sort of do your quest and then just click on that. We got 12 epic bacon. So this requires us to get 12 cobblestone, which we got 6, we just used 4 though. So we need to go break some more cobble. I haven't seen much on this pack considering it's only just come out yesterday, however I do know that there is no nether in this mod pack, so you can't, I don't know if you can build, I don't think you can, I think it's just been outright disabled, because I know when you look in the quest book, here, kill, yeah, spawn a zombie pigman by dunking a pig in witch water, so I think that the nether actually doesn't exist, and this is like your only way if you want to get like a, um, if you want to go kill a wither, you've got to actually get a skeleton and put it into the witch water to make the um, wither skeleton. Which is a little bit of an extra step, I guess. However, it's not too bad. Okay, just gathering up some stone here. Basically, my first thing that I want to do is probably get a stone hammer. What's that? Is that enough? No. We're nearly there though. So if we do this and then we I think it's uh I think yeah, it's like this. Yeah. Okay. So now with the stone hammer, you can just do this. Get a one to one trade off instead of a two to one trade off with the stone. Um there is also vein miner in this pack, like most other packs. Um, however, you can't vein mine stone, so the default key for it is grave, except when you hold grave it comes up with that. I think I need to kind of change that. So if we go here and we type in grave, um, right, uh, maybe it's in here, keybinds, yeah, this, so this, I think it's you hit escape. I don't actually know. Uh, 
select key holding shift control alter optional I guess you could just do control yeah control grave say that'll work yep so now if we went control grave yep okay cool but um yeah the default key is grave to vein mine but they disabled vein mining stone in this pack for quite obvious reasons and as you can see we're at Y level 90 so I'm gonna what do we need to make now so actually let's do this let's make this uh, we need actual sticks for that um, let's just move this crafting table to here oh that's right we actually had to make that we may as well go claim our rewards so here we got the inventory crafting table that is a really good thing and as you can see actually you can eat just to gain the saturation so you don't need to actually be hungry I guess which is good I guess for the end cake so that's not how you get there anymore so now is it if you just hit C no cool now we have the inventory crafting table so the next quest let's claim this we get the imaginary time block uh is that what I think it is with it now the stars like that's a lot of EMC one but I think this is quantum flux I don't know if this is the block I'm thinking of Imaginary time mark, quantum entropy accelerator. I don't think that's the block I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm actually not sure. I think that is the block I'm thinking of, which is sort of like the project uh, E, the watch of flowing time. I think it's like that, um, in which it speeds up the ticks of blocks around it. But you have to supply power to it, obviously. But that is a that is a really nice reward. That's going to come in real handy so we should actually there's a new thing uh start from the mod stone chest um and to craft the cobblestone chest you need to make four p four cobblestone parts which is just two cobblestone diagonally which i mean we can just do that in here can't we so we have to do that and then we do this boom we get a cobblestone chest it's the same storage as a normal chest, however I think the cobblestone double chest has one less row. We can probably confirm that when we actually make it. So we hit this. Two diamond tiers. I'm pretty sure that's actually a quest in here. Craft a diamond tier upgrade. Yeah, so once we get there we just auto-completed that. So let's go and store that in there. We also have a pet rock, but we'll bring him out later. Got some apples, some epic bacon. Let's put a stone hammer here. We probably don't need that. If you didn't know, you can actually access your quests from the top left in the uh, JEI interface. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, so what do we have to do now? So dirt. So we just need to smash. So we just do that. So just vein mine it. And vein mine. Cool. So that should be, I think, the default key. Nope, that's for advancements. So now we have completed dirt. Uh, craft a stone hammer and use it on cobblestone to get gravel and then to get dirt. And we get four basic capacitors from Ender IO. That's not too bad considering they require the whole grains to affinity, actually. Okay, so you actually get that from gravel. Not bad. Okay, so let's put them away. Um, and now we're just gonna do this. Oh, uh, wait, no, you need to use a crook, don't you? Yeah, you do. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just we can do six pieces, I guess. Alright, so we have six pieces of dirt. And the next quest wants us to make a stone crook, which is with four cobblestone instead of four stone uh, rods. And then we use the crook on the dirt 
to get saplings. Not too bad. Uh, so let's claim this reward. We get torch launcher. Oh, okay, so it has a durability. That's quite handy. Huh. Oh, okay, so it has a limited amount of torches. Wait, so how many torches can you spawn? Huh. That's actually quite useful. So if we just place that torch there, we can just like chuck torches up in these corners. Not bad. So if we take this one out, yeah, we're going to need to. Let's just quickly break this. We'll put the torch down here. Uh, we need another piece of dirt, so let's just quickly go ahead and make one. Alright, it's time to start growing. There is um the uh, Twerk for Trees, uh, what is it called? The Twerk Simulator 2K16, I think it's called. Uh, basically, the faster you press this, there you go. Now, so the next quest required us 16 wood. Okay, so if we just... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to vein mine the leaves. And then we'll grab the wood. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're actually... Okay, cool, that recipe exists. Let's make a stone axe. Uh, let's make... Eight... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make eight more dirt. Um, okay, so we need sixteen wood. Okay, not too hard. Just go ahead and do this. It's one tree. We'll just wait till we get a couple trees. And what we actually might do is we might do the string quest as well. That's a bit awkward. Oh, I can see all the other trees now. Um, so I'm going to come back once uh, I complete the wood um, quest, um, and we will go from there. Alright guys, so I went ahead and actually silk uh, wormed this tree up. Uh, so now all these leaves, you can tell when they're done because they turn into the uh, fancy looking leaves compared to the ones I have, which is the fast. Um, and all you have to do, which I hope just hit this with a crook. Cool. So that took out one crook, so let's just finish the rest of the leaves. So we got... Ah, uh, it doesn't actually say. We got three, nearly, we got three stacks of string, which is a pretty healthy amount. And the amount of wood we got, so we had three, so we got 32 pieces of wood as well, which is going to complete this quest which we get four basic capacitors from and we actually need a silkworm so let's just quickly go and grow a tree hopefully um, just stand in the middle here so we get all three there we go okay let's just do that cool that's the Silk Road quest completed, in which we get a block of Insanium Essence. I'm not complaining with that. What? Man, they really increase these rewards. I have a, I have a feeling that one of the updates is really going to drastically change that, but hey, I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. Because one Insanium Essence is equal to like, well I don't even know, it's a pretty ridiculous amount of, um, of, what's, what's the original called? Inferium. Except the only way to get the Insanium is with the Infusion Crystals, so I'm not going to be uncrafting it. But it, it's a fair bit. It's a fair bit to say the least. So let's just quickly go ahead and store these. Um, 
just quickly organize my inventory. The torch launcher can go like here. We don't need the crook. We don't need that. Apple, epic bacon, more. So we got eight base capacitors now, which is actually a really healthy amount. We can actually make a basic capacitor bank once we get some redstone and iron. Um, which is actually really nice. Alright, awesome. Okay. So, the next quest we probably want to do... Or maybe... Tinkering... Yeah, we might go down tinkering. Then again, this recording is getting a little bit long and we've made a lot of progress actually. Completing what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 quests? Actually, this would be a good one, the mining dimension to go to. Um, so we might, might do that one next, but that will be for the next episode in the series of Stoneblock 2. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember to... Uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe for more uh, for more videos. I'll be trying to do them about once every two days. Um, I think that's a pretty healthy amount, especially for starting out. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, tune back in tomorrow for another, or not tomorrow, sorry, in two days' time for a, another episode of Stoneblock 2. Goodbye.